Unit operations was a term that was coined in the 1920s by Arthur D. Little, who was a consultant uh, and professor at MIT. He combined the basic operations that occur in chemical plants in a format to study them individually so that students could go off and then recombine them in various ways with, in the new chemical plant situations. I'm one of the two professors running the unit ops lab this May. And to me, the unit ops uh, laboratory experience is probably one of the most central things for our students. We have a great group of students, the largest we've ever had. We have 202 students in the lab, 13 different TAs, experiments going six days a week. We have 48 experiments and two days of supplemental experiments. So every day there's something going on in here. The 13 experiments we have in our unit operation lab are meant to provide our students with a wide range of exposure to unit operations, experiments, processes that meet the demand of today's chemical, petrochemical, and pharmaceutical industry. So I'm Austin Tease. I am a third year chemical engineer doing unit ops this summer, and it's been a really interesting experience for me because I am working in a group in a way that I've ha never had before and really putting together a final project that I've never accomplished so much in such a short time period before. Um, when you get to unit up, you'll, you'll figure out that the professors are pretty awesome, like all the professors in Chemi are. Um, and I think just like being able to do hands-on stuff because, you know, for two, two and a half, three years you've been doing problem sets in classrooms and, you know, it's, it's not... It's more tangible now, like you feel like you're really thinking on your own and applying the stuff you know to like understand something that you never would have really given a second thought to before.